Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome to Resident Evil 3. Oh, here we go. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Authorities are bracing for more rioting. Oh, interesting. Live action cutscene. Uh, city -wide emergency. Nice Clear. call back CDC to the original Resident Evil. The lower Midwestern Official region of the US. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. Liar. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. This is an interesting mix of live action and RE engine footage. It blends quite well actually. Nice. You right there, Jill? There's a storm blowing something. Oh, I'm controlling it. First person. Oh, what have we got here? A ward. <gasps> There's Jill's beret. So I'm not going to rush this playthrough. I'm going to take my time and enjoy it. So I want to take in as much as I can. Original colours. Cute that pops. Sure. Didn't figure you for a poster girl, Jill. TV's out. Oh, I have to go out there. Right, no, I'm not going to do that just yet. Okay, it's September. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, so Jill's obviously been sleuthing. Uh, she's identified a net Birkin. Who's that? Is that Irons? No, I don't think it is. Someone's left the water on. That is my gun. Hey Jill, you're looking good, girl. Let's turn the water off. It's okay, Jill, you're just dreaming. Jill, you're hallucinating, don't do it. I know that's obviously not what happened, but it's but still. Escape by the thirtieth. That's worse every night. Alright, so Jill obviously had a plan to get out by the thirtieth. Then I can kiss this town goodbye. Worst month of my life. It's 
not sounding too good out there. Too many pills. Yeah, so Jill is obviously suffering from the old PTSD. Especially from that from the uh, mansion incident. What we got here? Jill's report. September 26th, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a Stars officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable, communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether it, this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happened to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could be an extended incubation. Oh shit. Investigation notes. Umbrella. Pharmaceutical companies pharmaceuticals company industry leader in market in market share. Focuses on military weapons and develop weapon Oh god. It's a little after midnight and I'm already struggling. Focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons. T virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility Predicted predicated, predicated Is that a word? I don't know. The mansion instant. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership. Large donations to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. Okay. Getting a lot of info here. Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Irons' men? Umbrellas? I don't know, and there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make, make them accountable. They will send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever... It is the. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever it, it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They will tell you everything you need to know as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Okay, so George got a plan. Blimey, there's a lot here. Message from a colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey Hotshot, how are you holding up? I still can't believe I suspended you, it's such bullshit. We ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything has been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force when the chief disbanded us out of nowhere. I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. Stars Alpha Team now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message into the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Oh, Brad, you big old wuss. But also softy. Quite fancy a pizza. Really? You left the water running again, Jill. You 
Still looking damn fine. You're not infected, you're fine, Jill. Turn that water off, it doesn't need to be running. Yeah, see, don't want to run up a massive water bill. And now we're back into third person. Oh, got a phone call. Who could that be? But I can't run. Hello, Valentine residence. Hello? Jill, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Oh, shit. Whoa! I wasn't expecting to meet you this early. Oh my god! Just get the hell out of there, Jill. Let's not hang around and find out, eh? Whoa, what the fuck? Ah, this is that first trailer scene. But anything in here I could grab. You know what they do? Oh, Jesus. Ooh. No, no. No, thank you. God, he's got. A lot of control over that thing. Oh, okay. It didn't want me hanging around too long. Fair enough. Okay. Jesus, dude! doing that dude it seems like you're just toying with me oh crap okay you need to calm down get out of town yeah that sounds like an excellent idea over here hey Brad You okay? What was that thing? Damned if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. Wait, hold up, Brad. How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. I am a fit. Barriers are holding real well, I see. Come on, this hiding Jack's bar. Oh, God. Don't 
think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Phil. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! You're a good man, Brad. Did I lose my gun? Oh god, is Brad dead? You know what? Sorry Brad. You you were all right in my book. Can I go through the bus? No. Okay, let's not hang around. Then that was Carlos. Sir, are you alright? Stay back! Don't come any closer! Oh, Dario! Hey, come on, there's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there! Dario! The parking garage isn't far, I can tell you. The only safe place! Here. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? What an ass. Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you've been doing a bang-up job. You wanna help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks! Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death than here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Yes, he said the line! Now leave me alone! <laughs> yes! He said the line! You're alright, I like you. Well, I don't. You're a bit of an ass. Right, let's... No, I want you there. There we go. Is there any health items in here? Because there was in the original. Let's just do a quick scout. No. But, okay, this looks... Very similar to, to the original warehouse. I'm impressed, I like it. Oh, good dogs. Hey, Frank. I think Brad was quite clear, don't fuck up like he did. You right there, fella? Oh my god, I'm loving it. This is kind of what I wanted from the Resident Evil 2 remake, to be more on the streets and to be in the chaos. So getting it now in Resident Evil... Whoa! too much. Oh, come on. The door worked just fine. Come on. <laughs> God, there's like... There doesn't seem to be a lot of breathing room in this opening segment. Which is fine. It adds... It... ramps up the tension right away. I don't think it, this is going to go well. No. Sorry. Alright, 
so that, that was not the helicopter that crashed into the RPD. That's probably why he didn't. Why he it's died in the car. Oh, R2. Oh, I get to control it. Nice. Hold R2. I'm holding. Is he lifting me up? Oh, God. You should always wear your seatbelt, kids. Get out of the car, Jill. Oh, hi there. Aren't you pretty? Rocket launcher takes him down. Easy, I like I it. Who are you? What are you doing? It's Carlos. I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. <laughs> His nemesis just sitting there thinking, what the hell just happened? Well, that was an opening and a half. Jesus. Somebody to lean on. I think yeah, quite literally. Clear. I hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Okay, oh, come on. Now I'm fine. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Well, we're just here to help people. What's wrong with Umbrella? Ooh. What's wrong with Umbrella? I have a list. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. But you don't have to trust me. But I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on. Yep. It's this way. I'm here. Ah, this is where the demo was. Cool. I see they ditched the Resident Evil 3 posters. Oh, and there's no boxes blocking all of this. Oh no, it was here. Ah, we remember this bit. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Hey, Mikhail. Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of... RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? This Pretty city well. is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. 
but we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. Gotta go. But I am on their side, not yours. No oh, way. Hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. <laughs> okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. First, I want to go back and check this area out. See if I missed anything. Can I go back through that door, or is that area now completely locked off to me? Alright, so that's a, a one a one way street. Alright. Don't know if I've missed anything, but I'm pretty sure I have. Can I have your gun? Shit, Captain. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I would miss. <laughs> ammo crafting guide, we know about that one, we've read it already. No ammo here this time. Okay, interesting. You all good in there? I'm guessing there'll be more people in there as we progress. Cool, traditional Japanese restaurant. I'd love to find a Japanese restaurant near me and try some authentic Japanese food. Exit. Nope, sadly not. Tabloid front page. Can have a Is this the same as the one we've already read before? Yeah, that hasn't changed. Jill, it's me again. I know you love me, Working Carlos, but there's no need to so contact me every five minutes. Your tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. You, you can tell I don't play on the PS4 very often because I always forget to turn off that damn thing. Alright. We've got that, that, mix those. Finally, some ammo. Basic, basic chemistry. Yay! Ooh, what's this? All right, so I'm gonna need a uh, a lock pick for that. Ah, there's no Mr. Charlie here. Right, yeah, we know about mixing herbs. We've got a save point. Three gems. Green, blue, red. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right... whatever it is. I know what it is, Jill. Don't worry. I've got you back. Right, we'll ditch the green herb. And keep a full healy on me just in case. I'm going to end this first episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. It was a very explosive opening sequence. I cannot wait to play the rest of this. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Resident Evil 3, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.